Good day everyone. Um this is Captain Gaurav from Sea and Beyond. I'm glad to have Captain Daniel Joseph uh, in our uh, uh, series uh, and this is the second part of the Sea Rise uh, wherein a uh, representative from DG Shipping Captain Daniel Joseph will um, tell us how what steps is DG Shipping taking to increase the awareness of the sea pirates. right a lot of questions being asked by people from the deck side from the engineering side um from you know uh, the training institutes uh, um where do they how how do they answer um you 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 can't have people answering it all the time there are some faqs which are available on the website these are fairly comprehensive and they are being continuously being built on and being involved so hey captain joseph if you could advise more about uh, how can a person if he has a question can see about where, where can he see it from the website please thank you good day everyone thank you welcome to the seafarers series number 2 this series clarifies the frequently asked questions for seafarers and is to create awareness among seafarers as to where to refer to these queries and where these queries are available a disclaimer okay let's go to the first slide you have to go to the dg shipping website just open a browser dgshipping.gov.in and click on the faq menu frequently asked questions menu you have to scroll down there are so many sub menus down so on the side left hand side you have to keep scrolling down and this faq men- menu is right in the bottom so you have to scroll down and click on the faq men- menu Once you click on this FAQ menu, you will see a series of uh, FAQs related to nautical engineering and training and related to COPs. So you have to just click on the uh, concerned tabs to get more details. I'll just uh, run through these uh, FAQs so that. it gives you an insight into the faqs which are being asked so if you click on the faqs you will be able to see the faqs so the first page generally contains uh, the general instructions for the candidates and then if you can see on there are uh, questions related to nautical for the masters deck officers so if you can see general questions are there how do i register my profile what to do if i lose it what about the medical certificate uk gm reses where to apply for the cocs and cops and uh, how to approach do i need to approach mmd for collections what are the details about the rut rut course and what are the requirements related to coc then what is the requirement related to gmdss and how how can i obtain a gmdss radio operator license in india then related to oil tankers and tankers level dus uh, dcs and then uh, what are the requirement of medical fitness what are the details regarding if a person has uh, coc from uk what are the refresher courses requirement what happens if the uh, sea service is not reflected into your master checker what about uh, 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 cocs with second mate can they sail on tankers what about the ls lchs requirement mostly related to the tankers uh, details are also provided then 
these are all built upon the questions where the seafarer have asked and this has been uh, made so this is a dynamically evolving document so the more questions are asked we keep updating this uh, document you know so all these details are provided and if you still have anything which is missed uh, from this pointers if you can see there are almost uh, 54 uh, 55 queries you know so people uh, if you feel that something is missing you can add on and if you can see engineering also has come up with uh, the directorate engineering wing also have come up with their kind of queries so there are 16 pages so all the queries have been listed here frequently asked what are the diagrams what are the requirements a flowchart is given everything is included and if there is something related to training you know certificates which all courses where to look for the courses and what are the details where are the circular available these all links are given in this training related and for rating especially related to cops so they can go through the cop1 link so if you can see all the details are provided how the automatic cop are done what happens if uh, the cop uh, if you don't receive your cop in your in inbox do do i need to approach mmd or dg shipping you know details about rpsl agencies what happens your if your passport and cdc is expired can you apply or not what has to be done for the processes of applying for COP, watchkeeping, and DC for ratings online? Everything is provided. Earlier, the COPs were issued by the facilitation center like CMMI, MASA, FOSMA, IMEI, and IMF. So what happens if you lose those COPs? So how to apply? What happens to the TAR book? What is the requirement related to photo and signature? And if you not, uh, if you have received a uh, query, what has to be done with that query? And if you don't understand what needs to be done with the query. So these all questions are listed down and these are available and uh, you can just go to the concerned uh, tab and whichever is your requirement, you can download and view the frequently asked questions. I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, so, so Captain Joseph, uh, this is a great initiative, I must say, and kudos to you and your team who have developed this. Um, how did you come up with this idea? Uh, why did you, you know, so, so many questions coming up. So, so what, what was the origin germination of this idea? See, this FAQ is there everywhere, you know. If you can see any any website, they will have FAQ. Uh, any government organization will have FAQ to reach to their uh, clients. So we started getting a lot of queries. This this FAQs have started in maybe 2016 onwards, and these are continuously evolved and continuously dynamically changed depending upon the questions received. But unfortunately, what happens, I can see the seafarers are asking the same question again and again and not referring to the thing which is available, the solutions which are given in the FAQs. So it is our sincere effort to create awareness so that seafarers are able to reach to the concerned person and concerned queries are uh, easily solved. That is our motive behind this uh, FAQs. Thank you, Captain Joseph. Noted. Um, just out of curiosity, what has been out of these FAQs the most frequently asked question? That one or two questions which are the most frequently asked? Uh, the most I can think about what happens, uh, my my signature is not matching, my photo is not matching, you know, in my Indus profile. I have lost my passport. Uh, and I have lost my Indos uh, password. How to retrieve the passwords? These are the basic queries which are uh, being received again and again. 
and uh, there are uh, technical questions because we keep receiving something or other you know shipping is dynamic <laughs> so we keep receiving something or others but the most frequent questions are uh, which i can think about is uh, related to indos passport password all missing that is the most uh, queries which we are receiving all right thank you so much for your time and i'm sure uh, initiatives well like this will make the life of a seafarer much more easy thank you thank you thank you thank you